Back in 2016, global sales of electric bikes amounted to about 35 million units. As a result, the issue of charging these bikes has become increasingly relevant. Even if the battery is removable, it's not very convenient to carry it home or to the office. In Holland, an ingenious solution has been found – charging tiles plus a special kickstand. Simply put the kickstand on the yellow mark and the battery begins charging. The 2-amp version charges as quickly as a regular charger, while the 4-amp version is even faster. These kickstands can be attached to any electric bike, and in the future they'll be adapted for use with scooters and mopeds. Additionally, since all the tiles are connected to the cloud, they can be remotely controlled – a highly appealing feature for rental businesses. Do you think that engineers' creativity in OLED displays was limited to a competition of who can create the most curved display? Well, it's not. A US-based team has invented a display with tactile keys that appear and disappear as needed. They protrude about 1.5 millimeters and are controlled by liquid pumps, so the whole procedure takes literally seconds. Thanks to its weight of 40 grams, this technology can be used in a wide range of gadgets. The device offers numerous advantages, such as the ability to type text and commands without looking. Literally, the keys can be configured for Braille. Additionally, users immediately saw an advantage from musicians. Physical keys with feedback are more comfortable for them on stage. Hankook Tire, a South Korean tire giant, also demonstrated their creativity with their latest invention – an omnidirectional wheelbot. Working prototypes of this future mobility vision are already being showcased at exhibitions. The company believes that their wheelbots will be suitable for asphalt, off-road terrain, and even indoor environments. Furthermore, they'll be capable of operating in semi-autonomous mode and feature remote control. Along with their innovative wheel design, the company is also working on developing a pod transport platform. This platform will enable a bus, for instance, to fit into pullouts for more efficient use of space. As the company puts it, the usability and expandability of the wheelbot are limitless. While the cars of the future are still in development, the parking lots of the future are already being constructed particularly in China. This is a four-story, smart and fully autonomous parking lot. When the driver enters the transfer zone, they can easily select the required parameters on a large display, and the robots take over from there. These robots are capable of carrying a maximum payload of 2.3 tons, and can adjust their arms to fit the wheelbase of any car with an accuracy of plus or minus 20 millimeters. The creators promise that parking capacity will increase by 30 to 40 percent due to proper arrangement of the cars. This makes parking easier for drivers who lack confidence and also offers good profit potential for parking lot owners. Another Chinese development. A local company has impressed the domestic and global mining market by introducing an electric mining truck, the first three-axle version of its kind. It has no cabin because it's controlled remotely or can operate independently thanks to AI. The vehicle uses acoustic sensors, radar, lidar and cameras for spatial orientation. The AI engine can plan routes that consider production schedules and coordinate with other equipment. The truck is powered by a 500 kilowatt hour battery that can be replaced in just six minutes. This innovative technology opens up possibilities for fully fledged digital mines, where tasks are assigned from a control center and smart dump trucks, crushers and drills can work independently.
Is it better to have an airplane or a yacht? Eight years ago, the creator of MVP, the most universal airplane in the world, came up with an answer. Their Model 3 prototype was even showcased at exhibitions, boasting its characteristics as an amphibious aircraft. Need to run errands? No problem. The vehicle can take off from land and water, reaches speeds of about 190 km per hour, and has two seats for the pilot and passenger. Wants to relax and fish in peace? No biggie. The cabin can be transformed, providing enough space to set up a tent or a hammock. The plane is 7.3 meters long, and prices range from $169,000 to $219,000. Despite plans to enter the market in 2017, the project was eventually stopped due to various problems, and the Model 3 remains a beautiful dream of the harmony between two elements. A revolutionary and innovative solution that can help relieve chronic or temporary back pain, the creators of this belt explain. Despite its substantial price tag of $250, the feedback from owners has been positive. But what makes this belt so good? Let's take a closer look. First, it doesn't restrict movement, making it convenient for athletes. Secondly, it promises customized compression, contouring to the curves of the body, which means that it's comfortable to breathe while wearing the belt. And thirdly, the belt is suitable for both physical laborers and office workers alike. The former will get real back support, for example when lifting boxes, and the latter will maintain good posture even after long hours at the computer. It'd be interesting to see how that belt had worked together with this compact exoskeleton. The presentation video promises all kinds of features. The exoskeleton can be put on in 30 seconds, a companion app is available for configuration, and the smart features facilitate walking, jogging, and even carrying a child in your arms. You can even do several things at once. The compact exoskeleton can run for up to four and a half hours on a single charge. We have a new addition to our garage of Birds are working not only on robotic limbs, but also on improved VR systems. This one stands out from the competition for several reasons. First, it's compact. It allows you to play while standing on a special platform 76 by 89 centimeters. Second, it's comfortable. The ergonomic design reduces the load on legs, 
arms and back and is suitable for people with disabilities. And third, it's compatible with a bunch of popular games like Hogwarts Legacy, Cyberpunk 2077, Resident Evil Village and Horizon Zero Dawn. Right now, there are about 300 titles on the list. The team also used neuroscience-based principles to reduce the risks of motion sickness and nausea. There are no prices yet, but the team's tagline is encouraging – VR made easy. Here's a VR project from Germany that is no less interesting and probably even more useful. This simulator was designed for therapy and rehabilitation for a wide variety of patients, including people with low back pain or stroke victims. Training on the simulator develops fine and gross motor skills, reduces the risk of falls, and helps to improve body control. The age limit is 14 years and the weight limit is up to 110 kilograms. The simulator is already on the market, priced from $19,000. There are iOS and Android apps, as well as support for VR headsets like the HTC Vive, Valve Index and Oculus Quest. According to one doctor, there is absolutely no other total body coordination optimizing equipment like the Icarus. The patients respond positively stating that the training is not only effective, but also enjoyable. The Japanese company Honda has been the world's largest motorcycle manufacturer since 1959, and it continues to surprise with its innovations. Whether it's a serial bike with a 999cc engine and 217 horsepower, or a concept bike that can balance itself, Honda always pushes the boundaries. Their latest concept bike is particularly intriguing, as it features a new technology called Riding Assist. Instead of using a gyroscope, Honda's engineers developed a system that allows a computer to take control of the fork and front wheel when the speed is below 4.8 km per hour. By analyzing sensor data a thousand times per second, the computer adjusts the wheel position and fork inclination to keep the bike stable. To make things even more impressive, the concept bike has been programmed to follow its owner. Witnesses to this technology are amazed. Only the Nippon could turn a motorcycle into a puppy dog that follows you. So kawaii. Parking lots and warehouses are often littered with debris, such as packaging waste, dust, leaves and wood chips, which require regular cleanup. Sounds simple, until you get into the details. Amazon's warehouses, for example, are 50,000 to 100,000 square meters in size, and there are many other companies. To save employees from overwork, cleaning robots have been developed that can clean up to 9,300 square meters on a single charge, and can even pick up large debris. Thanks to LiDARs, the robot can see up to 200 meters around it. Its cleaning width is 127 centimeters, and it can also scrub particularly difficult areas with a brush with a force of 95 kilograms. The designers of this innovative vessel succinctly describe it as a long-endurance, multi-purpose, unscrewed surface vessel. This British vehicle is suitable for a wide range of tasks, from ocean exploration to patrolling. The 6-meter hull houses a hybrid diesel-electric propulsion system that consumes only 2 liters of fuel per hour at maximum load. The vessel can be operated using a joystick within a range of up to 200 meters or via Wi-Fi within a range of up to 1.5 kilometers. It can achieve a top speed of 12 kilometers per hour and can carry up to 380 liters of fuel. Besides, it can carry 200 kilograms of cargo, such as additional equipment, since the boat comes equipped with six serial ports and six Ethernet ports.
Modern digital cameras can easily weigh about a kilogram. Combined with not the most ergonomic designs and high prices, it's a bit scary for beginners to even hold them, let alone take pictures with them. This concept aims to address that and make cameras comfortable for people with dexterity problems, as well as for older photography enthusiasts. The designer put capture and zoom buttons on both sides and also built in a screen that can be lifted to a 90-degree angle. Four flashes are built around the lens, and the interface automatically changes orientation from landscape to portrait if the camera is rotated. Even though brake shoes were invented centuries ago, they're still being actively used today to stop and secure train cars. They work this way. The rolling friction of the car is replaced by the sliding friction of the braking shoe on the rail and the second wheel of the pair on the other rail. It's simple and effective. But Russia has already started testing something new – stoppers that can replace brake shoes. The idea is this. A piston is mounted on the inside of the rails, protruding about 5 cm. When the wheel runs onto it, it drops and then rises and secures the wheel. The driver must be extremely precise when using this method. However, the use of these stoppers will save time and effort compared to carrying and installing brake shoes. Do you think this new method will become popular?